have my son, you know, grow up and, and be a world changer and to be an example and a big part of, of um, you know, nurturing him into his, his talents and his God-given abilities and just kind of, you know, help him to be the best he can be. Let's go. Let's go. What's your life, man? I know a lot of people that are scared to go die. Couple of them thinking they'll be living in the sky. While I'm here living, man, I gotta ask why. What am I here for? I gotta figure out. Waste my life, no, I gotta make it count. If Christ is real, then what am I gonna do about it? Everything in Luke 12. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Faith and Barbells. I'm your host, Brian Knight, and uh, thanks for listening. Um, I'm gonna have a special guest today. Um, a good friend of mine. Uh, I wanted to hear uh, hear about his life and um, ask him a few questions and um, you know just the topic just about the topic of of who um, ha, you know what what's God doing in your life and 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 how how he has changed you know changed your heart and and that's the topic for for this weekend um, so Nick how you doing Nick doing great man thanks for having me yeah, right on, bro. Thanks for coming on the podcast and uh, yes, sir. and talking with us. So, um, a little background: um, I met Nick at a uh, at a CrossFit gym, the Vessel. Remember the Vessel, bro? Oh yeah, man. We got it in over there. Hard work. Yeah, we did. That was early morning CrossFit right there. That was yeah. That was like five thirty, six thirty classes. Yes, sir. That was fun, man. Gosh, yes, that sir. was the crew. You remember the crew? That was the crew back then when we had. That was when things were popping and and. Uh, oh yeah. You know, yeah, that was some good times. I Definitely. Think those those are like it. little special moments. Those are special moments in time. You know, it's hard to find those. Yes, sir, man. That's when uh, you know God brought us together, and uh, you know we've been friends ever since, and definitely uh, thankful for that friendship. For real, you know that that's a real example, man, of a uh, like a a um, an ordained relationship, like when like a uh, you know like a God when when a, a moment like a God moment. Some you know some people say a God moment or yes, sir. There's another word for it. There's another word for it. I just I can't remember what the moment is at the moment, but uh, yeah, it's a serious. Uh, it's a serious thing, man. That's a. We started talking, and then one thing led to another, and Jesus came up, and the rest is history. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Um. Right on. So, yeah, bro. So, um, so I have a couple questions I want to ask. Uh, you know. Um, yeah, man. If you don't mind. Yeah. Shoot. Um. Like the first one. Uh. Like what was uh, what was your first encounter with with God? My first encounter with God, uh, probably at a young age, my my mom taught CCD in a Catholic church, and um, you know, so I grew up doing the, my first communion and all of that. Uh, it was great, but um, as I grew older, you know, I I would see how how God would uh, His plan was always bigger than my plan, you know. So sometimes I might not have have liked what was going on or, or the way I was going and I would always turn out to benefit me and I would I would always be able to look back and be like, Man, you know, that's that's why that happened. Now I can see, you know, it was it was to benefit me in this way. You know, I couldn't see it at the time but, you know, I've just uh I've just learned to just turn it over and give it all to him and just let him lead me at this point at my age now, so that's cool, man. That's cool. That's a that's a that's a that's a good deal that uh, your family, you know, got you started. Um, Reno, Definitely. Or got, got got you uh, involved in that. You know, whether you knew it or not, you know, that's uh, those were seeds planted. I think I think Paul writes in his Acts that uh, you know it's a process. You know, it says that he, you know, he plants. Um, someone else waters, but God brings the increase. So there's always that starting point, that seed, you know, that's planted in our life. Yes, sir. Funny to yeah, I always re- remember those days, uh, you know, and I wanted to do the same for for my son as when he was younger. So now, 
you know, I try to, to teach and start it out, you know, in his class and, and do the same thing. So he would have the same memories and the same seed that was planted in me a long time ago. Yeah, man, that's awesome. Heck yeah, that's a, you know, that's, um, you know, that's why, you know, that's one of the reasons God chose Abraham, bro. It says in scripture that he chose Abraham because he knew that he would teach his kids the things of God. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, that's awesome, man. That, it's awesome. Love it, man. So, he, his plan is always bigger. Isn't it? It's, it is. It's bigger. And, you know, we're part of that plan. All we have to do, really, is grab a hold of what his plan is. Even if you don't know what it is, just right. be willing just be willing to grab hold, and he'll lead you right in. That's right. That's right. He's awesome. Okay, yes, second sir. question, man. Uh, what, what now? You know, I know that was a while back, and uh, I know, uh, you know, you, uh, you had a commitment to, with the Lord, and, and um, you know, we, I remember us talking about that and, 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 and everything, and, and uh, you know, that really, I remember you're uh, talking about, you know, getting gung-ho for, for uh, things of God and, yes, and really uh, committing. Um, what, what motivates you? to continue to, to seek him? Man, it would be uh, just God's love, just, you know, uh, being in God's love and being covered by his, his grace and mercy every day, just being able to wake up and, and know that I'm forgiven and that, you know, I just, like I said before, I just leave it all in his hands and know that, that he's going to lead me down the path that, that I'm supposed to be on and knowing that I'm part of a, a bigger something bigger you know and just knowing that uh you know his love for me is is endless and i just want to be as as close to him as i can can get and just uh continue to to walk that path and hopefully my children will do the same thing and that's it man i just just love being loved by god man dude that's it that's a great answer man yeah that's uh, you know, it's so good. That reminds me. Last night I was watching um, that movie. Um, uh, it was a movie about Moses and the the, the Israelites coming out of Egypt. Um, uh-huh. it was the the, the recent one's called Gods and Kings or something of Egypt. I haven't and seen it. James I'll check Bale, it out. <laughs> Christian, Christian Bale, but he, you know what he, the Pharaoh kept saying to his kid, his kid, you know, one of the last punishments, um or one of the last plagues was uh, the firstborn dies, right? But right. before that happened, the, the, the Pharaoh kept saying to his son, uh, you sleep so well, son. Like he said this like three or four times. You sleep so well at night. That it's, but, and he says, the reason why is because you know that you're loved. And that is a huge thing, man. That's a, yes, sir. That, you said it, and you just said it, bro. That's awesome. Man, I, I, that struck me last night, and then for you to... Uh, it definitely makes, uh, you know, makes things and problems that might arise. You know, everybody has problems in their life, you know, but as long as you can grasp that and know that you're loved by God and that, you know, you're part of something bigger and, you know, you can pretty much get through through anything life throws at you. That's right. Preach it, bro. That's it. <laughs> That's so good. Yes, sir. But that's the answer, right? With perfect love casts out all fear, and that's uh, that's right. You know, it's amazing. Perfect. Okay. Yes, sir. It is. Um, all right. The last one here. If you could drop any everything that you're doing, right, and do what do what you want to do, or what you're called to do, right, in your heart. Right. Is that what you're doing now, or would you would you do something different? What would what would it be? Um, what I'm doing now, you know. It, I love doing what I'm doing, uh, drafting and architecture, and, you know, I love being able to create something out of nothing, and, you know, I, w- I might go into a, a bigger field or something of that, but if I was to win the lottery or, or, you know, if I could just follow my heart, it would definitely be something to do with children and, and kids, you know, and, and just helping people in general. Um, I love kids. I love coaching Little League. I uh, coach my son's Little League for years now and um it would definitely be to just you know grab and help and protect and teach 
as many kids and people as I could possibly, um, you know, get to, man. I just, I just love being around kids and kids love being around me. So it just, it just works, man. And I, I just love being a part of their lives and, and just doing everything I can to, uh, to help them grow. Right on, man. That's cool. That's a good thing. That's a, our kids are important. Next generation, you know, that's, um, they, uh, they really learn by what we model, you know, and what we teach them. And, and that's a big, that's a, that's a big, um, uh, investment. That's cool, bro. That's cool. Definitely. Good. All right. Bonus question. <laughs> <I'm just laughs> Let's go, man. What you got? <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, it's not that hard. Just, hey, do you, so what's your number one goal in, in, in life? Have you, uh, have you made one or thought about that? Um, you know, my number one goal probably uh, pertains to question number three would be uh, yeah. to to have my son, you know, grow up and, and be a world changer and, and to be an example and a big part of of um, you know nurturing him into his his talents and his God given abilities and just kind of you know, help him to be the best he can be. You know, I feel like that's that's my job as his dad is to to help him grow every day and learn and, and be the best he can be. So, you know, I, I at this point, you know, he's only 10 years old and, and I'm a 13-year-old also, uh, just to help them to grow to be the very best they can be. And, and you know, once that's they big. grow up and, and get on their path, you know, then I'll worry more about, you know, where I'm going to go from there. Hey, they, they, I mean, that's a that's a pretty um, respectful goal. It's hard to hard to capitalize on that. You know, that's great. Yeah, that's good. I think as a father, you know, Happy Father's Day. That's a uh, yeah. A couple of days ago. That was that's a good. I think that's a number one. That's a good number one goal that I think most fathers should should uh should really adopt. You know, there's a there's a there's a lack of fathers out there, man, who want to to do that. I mean, so many people abandon the family, so many men. And that is a shame. So many it fathers is. out there abandon their family and leave single mothers to do everything and to struggle and to get government help only. And that's tragic. And I think that's it by, is, leading, as, by leading um, as an example to others, that is, that is a huge thing. I think, you know, I've heard this, uh, this word talk about um, I've heard this word before where people say, um, you know, mostly in the church, it's, it's um, you know, moms bringing their children to church. But I think we, we you know, and you're, and you're doing this, but we should flip that and, and have where, the, you know, it should be mostly fathers bringing their families and their children to church and teaching them, bro. And that's... that's yeah, the, the men are the, the leaders of their family, you know, and we're we're called by God to lead our families and to, uh, to be the best we can be and, and lead them in every aspect. And yeah. So, yeah, I think I really believe that's true. That's our, that's our role as a, as a father, as a man of the, of the right. house. And, and, you know, uh, we should definitely, um, that's a role that we should take as, as a serious role. And that's the problem with some communities definitely. out there. You can see there's big communities that are fatherless and that it's tragic. What's happening to those those people? And that's good, man. That's a great goal. Definitely. That's a great goal. That's a that's a that's a that's a world changing goal. And I I think that's something. If you don't, if you guys listening don't have a, a goal or you haven't thought about that, you know, ha, adopt that. Invest in the future uh, of this world by you know, if you have kids, you know, look at your kids as uh, as priority to to teach and to. Um, and to lead and to guide into into respectable and upright, you know, um, kids of the yes, community, sir. and then and then to become adults. Great, man. I appreciate Important, that. Important, man. I appreciate that. So, yes, sir. All right, so hey, some fun stuff. Hey, I saw you guys uh, busting out two twenty five on the bench this morning. What's going on? Yes, with that? sir. We went in there and, and got it in, man. Dude, I didn't. I'm about to get it in right now. <laughs> Knock it out, brother. Yeah, I will. But middle of the day, I didn't. Uh, did it's hard, man. I uh, for those of you who don't know, um, Nick and I we met each other early, like we were saying earlier, earlier in the morning. 
um, early in the morning CrossFit, and man, I did that for a year, a year or so, and that's great. And I just getting into the habit of that is that's important. And I know you're back in there at that uh, five thirty class, five thirty yep. uh, shift time. It's yes, a, it's a good thing. You get your time all by yourself. <laughs> well, good man. Well, th- hey, thanks for um, thanks for being on the podcast, bro. Yeah, man. Thanks for having me. Anytime, brother. Yeah, we'll have to do it again and talk more about um, uh, talk more about you know what what's going on in at your church, you know, and you guys yeah, go man. to um, um, a good church over there in New Braunfels. So. Yes, sir. Well, thanks again, um, Nick. Nick Moxley. Um, appreciate appreciate you coming on and, and answering with your heart and giving us some some powerful uh, answers, bro. That will help, hopefully, help others. You know, to uh, to reflect awesome. on themselves. You know. And Good deal, man. Thanks for having me, big dog. Yeah, yeah.